Hi everybody! Today's video will be how to make a little bear or a mini bear on the AliExpress Knitting Machine Professional. First I will prepare four little pieces of yarn because my row counter doesn't work. So I will use those little pieces to count. First I will cast on the machine by starting by the black needle. I'm going one in the front, one in the back for the first row. Open the yarn feeder, close it and then you crank. Put the numbers in your notebook. 50 rows. So every 10 stitch and that stitch the rows, I will add a little piece of yarn like this to keep the numbers. So that way if somebody arrive and talk to me, I just have to count since the last little piece of yarn if I need to count. So I will continue like that. I will put my four piece of yarn and then continue another, another couple of rows, rows and voila, I got the 50 rows. So time to cast off. To cast off, I will cut the yarn, open the yarn feeder, make sure I crank the machine for at least 360, like this. Stop just before the, the row counter, because counter, you don't want to lose any stitches. Grab the roll needle, and with the tip of your needle, you go between those little two red teeth, and you remove the stitch. When you remove all the stitch, be careful because if you miss one, you will end up with that drop stitch. Not always fun, especially when you're newbies. This video is it's for newbies, but with a little bit of uh, experience with other project, maybe. So time to remove the little count, little guide, the stitch marker, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I remove everything, I stretch, and now it's time to pull to close the tube. So with the wool needle, I will go and grab around like this all the stitches to make sure that it closed very securely. Because this is a, a toys for small kids, and we want them to be secure. So on this little pattern, I didn't put anything in plastic for the eyes or nose. So close this side too, very important, very careful, there, this video is not long, so hope you will enjoy it. So I will go and grab the middle inside and the middle outside, bring the yarn to the other side, attach those two together. Very tight, and then you stretch. Stretch it, and then you, with the wool needle, you pick every two stitch on the border like this. And this is to keep your stuffing inside when you will close it. That's why we do that. So I continue. Time to stuff. Make sure when you stuff, you don't do a ball. You want it to be a like a sausage, not a ball. Okay. <laughs> so put your stuffing, and then you attach it with two tight knot, and you could eye those tail, but I didn't. But you could. Now I will do the neck. I will lower ten rows. And then I will go and grab every two stitch like this on the same row. And this will create the neck. Like this. There. I will tight it, but not too tight. Because I still have to do the ears on my little bear. So for the ears, I would just pinch one layer of the, the tube, start on the bottom, go in front, in the back, in front, in the back, and very important here, you go over, over, why over, it's because when you will pull on the yarn at the end, it will bring all to do the ears, so pull like this, 
so the little ears is done if you like it like this stop it and do your double knot and voila you got your first ears so i will hide some little tail i have too many tails it's not easy to follow when you have too many tails i will do the same thing on the other side pinch it between my finger and then go up go over it and go down And when the, I will pull on the two string of yarn to create the second ears. So when you got it, voila! Now I could fix the neck better. I don't go too tight because I don't want it to be too tight. I want it to be like normal. So I will hide those little tail now. I got a lot. <laughs> There, got it. Now I will do the arms and the legs on the same column. I will go in front, in the back, and I will stay on the same column, in the back and on the front. Very important for the little trick that I will do after. If you don't do it like this, it will not come out like it's supposed it will be nice too but it will, will not be perfect so it will be perfectly cute if you follow the same column so now it's time to do the trick you pull on the beginning and the, it will go like this it look like a little sausage for now but we are not done don't worry okay Put that inside the body. That and then I will go and attach this one because I didn't start high enough, so I will fix it now. There is always a way with the yarn. So I will attach it. I don't have a lot left, so I will do a little knot here, create a loop hold it between my finger and then I got my knot put that in the body of the little bear like this got it do the same thing on the other side now same uh, same or same uh, <laughs> same column in front in the back this keep going pull it to do the little trick yes sir so you do a little knot to secure it hide it in the body and it's eight minutes in the video if you're still here can you put on the common Noel <laughs> could be funny everybody will read that you will say what Noel how come they say Noel in the common <laughs> so I go in the middle like this and I go back and forth for three times to do the ends I will divide it in the middle like this I do it again because I, ta I was talking on the first time go in and go back and forth and then I attach it in the back voila the little pot are done touch it cut it hide it voila the body is finished all we need now is the little nose I use the hook loom hook to secure it I put that in the middle of the face and go around it like this to prevent too much stretching and to keep the shape correctly of the little bear so I will attach those on the bottom bring the other one there, do a double knot hide it in the back and cut the excess 
remove it not remove it start over you go keep yourself a little tail of yarn and then you will go just around like this three times the yarn is a little bit tiny so it will be just great a cute little nose for our little bear put it down to bring it to the starting point and then I will go on this side to do that first eyes whoops I got a little knot here like this fix it so for the eyes whoops for the eyes I will just go and choose one bar and go around it like two or three times depending of the thickness of your yarn like this and I got I got to love it I go on the other side don't pull too much because you don't want to change the shape of your eyes and you will do the same thing here grab one bar oops the ears is on my way there when they look both the same you will go and going down to reach the starting point like this and then you do a double knot and you will hide it there almost finished all we need now to hide those little tail of yarn and do the little little tiny little tail on the back it's cute like this already but now we will do the little tail I go just uh, just one stitch lower than the ends are and then I will just go back and forth like this not too tight and then I go back and then attach it to two together and voila this is the video for this week hope you enjoy it and wish you a great great week and see you next week for a new video ciao ciao i try to make a video every week so stay tuned bye bye